So, um, good morning from the Algarve this morning. It's a beautiful day. It's not as hot as um, it has been in the last few days. Um, a follow on from yesterday's conversation about boundary markers. Um, we do know of somebody whose father bought property 30 years ago, um, lived in it, sadly died and obviously got inherited to the children. Now, when one of the children went to go and live in it, um, the boundary markers had been changed, they'd been moved and they'd actually stolen or taken a well. And water here, especially in the Algarve or in most of Portugal is a well, it, you might as well have a gold mine. So, that's going to be a dispute with the neighbours. Um, we also know of somebody else who bought um, a plot of land. And they were constantly arguing with the neighbour over the well, but it was clear on their deeds that they did actually own the well. But this is a funny one. Um, you like this. Um, somebody that we know um, their mother bought a property in the north of Portugal and it had like a granny flat and um, they, they purchased the property and then they noticed that it was the mother of the family was still there and they, they got a, a Portuguese person to um, interpret why was she still living there and she said that she had no intention of leaving whatsoever. She was probably born in that property. She'd lived in it an awful long time. And anyway, it actually went to court. And what happened was that the Portuguese courts actually sided with the mother. And the mother was allowed to actually stay in the granny flat. So what actually happened is that this person had to sell the rest of the house and move on. Um, obviously, it didn't go for as much money as what they paid, but it is just something to be aware of. Um, just make sure the land that you buy, the house that you buy, everything is included in the price. Anyway, we're, we're out and about today. Um, we actually don't know where we're going. Um, but we will take you along with us. So let's see if we can find another house. We're just on the way to Estoy and we've seen this building. I mean, look how beautiful that arch is, but it's just crumbling. And you said, Dave, that that side There's on no the right is just gonna crumble. It's all plant, what a shame. It's not an issue. It does look like it's got land as well, but um, I'll put the um, estate agent's number on. I'm not looking round because it's, at, it's just well, it's unsafe. ruined it's and unsafe. probably unsafe as well. Yeah. So we've come to a story this morning. We've never been here before. It's supposed to be really pretty. And we're going to have a look at properties on the outskirts of this story going down to Oleau. This is where you put naughty husbands when they when they uh, misbehave. Oh, naughty wives. No, naughty husbands. Mm. I, I think it was that. As you can tell, there's no husbands in there. I think it was actually a washroom, and you get quite a lot of these um, around. And yes, they still still do work. I wish I could actually send you this smell. It's. Jasmine, I absolutely adore Jasmine. How beautiful is that? Wow. I found my house, Abes, I found my house.
time to bond. I was going to sit on there, but it might actually clap, so how beautiful. Look at these arches out and the painted Portuguese tiles. So there must be some kind of hotel next to the, well you wouldn't call it a castle, it, it's very palatial but very beautiful. And over in the distance over there you can see Faro Airport. Beautiful. Look at that. of grand monuments and buildings in Portugal. Um, this is the nicest that we've actually been. We've noticed here that there's not many shops. Um, yeah, so I might stop for a bit of lunch and then um, try and house hunt again. I've just shown me this. And it does seem to have land at the back of the property. It's up with um, Sotheby's Portugal. And I should imagine it'll be extremely expensive. But I will let you know how much it is. It's in the centre of Vestoy. So, we're at the, well, we're in Oliao. So we'll show you around. So look at that tray. They, they've made it as a nest. You do get a lot of stalks here. It's beautiful. I've spotted this for sale. Just look at the staircase on the top. Um, I'll tell you who it's with how much it is. That's uh, another angle of it. It's actually got beautiful balconies and it's also got a um, shop underneath. This is Oliao. So this is um, where the sea is at Oliao. So we've come out for a curry egg, so haven't we? We've managed to find a curry place in Oliao. And it looks really re reasonable. And we're just trying not to get it on our white chops. Just had a meal at the Indian Hut too. And lunchtime menu very reasonable and it was delicious actually wasn't it Ives? Yep. yep. You enjoyed it? Enjoyed it Yeah, this hurt me eyes were hurting because of the um, sunshine. It's cloudy. It's cloudy. Yeah but it's still hurting. It's so bright. Put your sunglasses on. So we've just had um, a lunch at the Indian Cup too and it was really nice. It was I had prawn curry and I've had a chicken tikka masala. We got rice and naan bread inclu included. And I had a small beer. I've had a sparkling water. Sparkling water. And it came to 21 euro. So that's thumbs up from us. The house that we saw, um, which we will post, the yellow ha terraced house here. Um, we googled while we were sat down. It's absolutely beautiful inside. It's 500,000 I think it is. But the project is completely finished. Um, I'll try and send a link. I think it's with Top Marks estate agents here. And it's got a sea view. 
and it's got a sea view right at the top. So if you've got half a million pounds, and you're sorry, not half a million euros to spend. And you're not afraid of heights. Yeah, it is a beautiful property actually. It's a beautiful church. Or in Grazier, as they say in Portuguese.